was a reader and I am an African poet. I was born in Ghana on March 13, 1935, and I am the oldest of ten children in the family. I first attended Akinode School, Ghana, and eventually graduated the University of Ghana in 1950. After graduating, I worked for the Ghana Film Corporation, where I soon became director. I spent several years in Britain, studying at the University of London, and wrote radio plays for the BBC, including Lament, a short poetic drama. I then studied at the State University of New York at Bristol, where I became professor in African literature and chairman of the Comparative Literature Program. I was born in Ghana, but grew up in Belgium and spent a lot of my years in Britain, studying at the Richard Schofield Literary Institute. When I was 10, I became president of the Chairman's Council for the History of Greek Poetry in Ghana. Shortly afterward, I was a guest for a year at St. John's College and then promoted to a fellowship. I was the chairman of our college for three consecutive years. I was the chairman of John Ball University for a long time, called the Outside Chairman. After my retirement, I became very involved in the government again. In 1984 to 1988, I was the Ghana Guardian and Ambassador to Brazil at the Lisbon Convention. I then became the chairman of the Council of State and became Ghana's permanent representative to the United Nations. Most of my work was influenced by my degree in Greek literature and by my grandmother, who was a Greek Jewish woman. Now that you know about me, I'd like to introduce you to our next guest, Ms. Victoria Victoria Bruce. Victoria Bruce. When we were in Britain on ice and made an egg on our own mistake, we did not want to send it away. We walked to the building of the next country and supervised the egg laying and made it slowly turn in the size of the bird. Seeking salvation to us at our next country, they were so sweet to make us that the same egg we would have called the bird, and the fishes rather meant our Lord the Christ. A sermon is the divination of our sight, and our new horizons diminish out of sight. But we cannot bring the prayers and answers of the community. He looked for new homes every day, for new altars to strive to build, for old shrines defiled by the leader of men. Here my name was inscribed for my first guest who called the Greek name. I am known to come back in the poetic tradition of my native Greek people to speak to the contemporary and religious circles in which we occupied during my life. In the poem Taste to Be the Bird, a notorious philosopher, he describes poetry as a metaphor for Western materialization. I describe the Greek tragedy as defiling the sacred places of my flesh. I also break the axioms that engender misuse of them. I'd like to read you another one of my poems called We All Have Our Own. We have found a new world, the side of eternity, where our blackness does not matter, and our songs are drawn on our lips. Standing at hell gate, we those who seek admission, share the familiar faces that watch and greet the end, as the ones who have left beside them. Come on, old boy, turn our breath like that, and see a girl in your eyes for that. Those who want to be seen in the best company, and in the new land we have found. The water is drawn from the tower, our thoughts are dead and we cry, then dead for the other side. Reaching for the stars, we stop at the house of the moon and call to the land the wisdom of our God. This poem is dedicated to my friend and mentor, Sally Marie Fowler, who lives in Las Vegas, Nevada. Sally and I have met through all of our friends and through the friends of Alana. Her and I grew very close and have our paths have crossed many a time over the years and later on our new friends visit to see the new land that Sally and I have lived in. She is here with me now to share this poem with us. The poem was written in Greek and is called We All Have Our Own Bird. I think I can see it now, but who is it? Can I see it just this moment? I was born in Ghana with the Greek fear that people would look away from me and say something mean. I was a rebellious child who was put in a cage. After far from being seen, I dashed forward to the end of the world. I rallied up and ran, climbed to the top of a mountain, and flew to the roof of a house. 